Russia should panic as Germany launches PZH-2000 deadly howitzer. The PZH-2000 is a mobile weapon system which was deployed as indirect fire support in the 2010s. It is used in both conventional and asymmetric mission scenarios. In this video, we'll tell you about the abilities of the PZH-2000. The fully automatic handling of the onboard supply of 60 projectiles and 155mm L-52 gun enables maximum effect against targets with a high rate of fire. Stay till the end, as we're telling you how Germany will help Ukraine by providing them with PZH-2000. The Panzerhaubitze 2000 is the 155mm self-propelled howitzer developed by Krasmafei Wigman, or KMW, and the main subcontractor Rheinmetall Land System for the German Army. KMW was given a contract in 1996 for the production of 185 units, and they delivered the first system in July 1998. Rheinmetall delivers the complete chassis for all series vehicles. In May 2001, the PZH-2000 fired 20 rounds all to ranges exceeding 40 kilometers during test firings for the Hellenic Army. It reached these ranges utilizing an M2000BB Ashigai shells from Nashim Dental of South Africa, along with the Rheinmetall DM-72 modular charge system. In November 2002, the same range was achieved with Rheinmetall's new long-range RH-40BB ammunition in live firing in Sweden. It was also fired with the modular charge system. To verify the feasibility of the system for naval applications, the PZH-2000 howitzer turret has been mounted on the deck of the German Navy F-124 frigate, Hamburg. This concept requires a flexible elastic mounting known as Monarch. PZH-2000 155mm L-52 howitzer gun the ESW Xtel Systems Weddle supplied the electrical gun control system that comprises automatic elevating and traversing drives with semi-automatic backup, acquiring electrical instrument control and manual control. The 155mm L-52 gun of the PZH-2000 was developed by Rheinmetall DTEC, having a barrel length of 52 calibers. The gun consists of a chromium-plated barrel and semi-automatic lifting breech block with a standard primer magazine having 32 rounds. The PCH-2000 is equipped with a fully automatic shell loading system with an ammunition management system. The chromium-plated barrel is 8 meters long, fitted with a slotted muzzle brake that enhances muzzle velocity and reduces the level of muzzle flash. The wedge-type breech block is integrated with a removable primer magazine fitted with an endless conveyor for automatic primer transportation, loading, and unloading. Do you have any clue how the propelling charge is formed in the PCH-2000? Rheinmetall DTEC developed a six-zone modular propelling charge system, or MTLS, the DM-72, which provides less wear on the gun, faster handling, lower sensitivity to ignition hazards, and improved range. In the PZH-2000, up to six MTLS modules form the propelling charge. The maximum range of the L-52 gun is 30 kilometers, using the maximum MTLS charges and standard L-15A2 round. The range is increased to 40 kilometers with assisted projectiles. Honeywell Maintal mounted the gun cradle and produced the gun positioning and laying system. The system automatically determines gun direction, position, and elevation above sea level. The Global Positioning System, or GPS, receiver and the vehicle's motor sensors form the hybrid navigation system of the PZH-2000. Automatic Shell Loading System The automatic shell loading system of the PZH-2000 can handle 60 rounds of 155mm ammunition. The shells are carried from the backside of the vehicle and automatically stowed in the 60-round magazine located at the center of the chassis. The shell loading system is driven by brushless electric servo motors supplied by Moog. The automatic shell loading system has a pneumatically driven flick rammer and automatic digital control, ammunition supply management, and inductive fuse setting. Have you ever wondered how these features affect the rate of fire? All of these features improve the rates of fire of three rounds in less than 10 seconds at the loading of 60 shells by two operators within 12 minutes, including the collation and ammunition data. PZH-2000 had a firing rate of 59.74 seconds for 12 rounds and 1 minute 47 seconds for 20 rounds during firing tests in October 1997 with an improved autoloader. The radar sensor automatically determines the muzzle velocity and is used in the fire control computation. Fire Control and Propulsion PZH-2000 can utilize an automatic mode of operation including the data radio link with an external command and control system. Target engagements can be carried out by a crew of two with the help of the automatic mode. 
Using the fire control data provided by the ballistics computer, the gun is automatically laid and relayed during the mission. It consists of various backup modes that ensure the sustainability of the system in case of a component failure. The soldier in command has a Leica Perry Retinal 80 panoramic periscope used in Under Armour operations. It is also utilized for target designation in direct laying engagements. The gunner is equipped with a Leica PZF TN80 day and night direct fire sight. The 736 kilowatt power pack of the PZH2000 is mounted at the front of the hull and consists of an 8-cylinder direct injection supercharged MTU MT881 Ka 500 diesel engine with a 4-speed rank HSWL 284C gearbox. Moreover, three fuel tanks provide a 420-kilometer cruise range. If you have reached this far in the video, we would like to thank you. Be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content like this. In late April 2022, the Netherlands decided to send the German-built PZH-2000 to Ukraine. Germany itself had refrained from sending heavy weapons to Ukraine. The training could be provided in Poland or Germany. The Netherlands had acquired 56 PZH-2000s, out of which 18 remained active in the Royal Netherlands Army's 41st Artillery Battalion as of 2022. This means that the Netherlands could send a maximum of 38 PZH-2000s to Ukraine that can form two artillery battalions. The Bundeswehr received a total of 185 PZH-2000s through 2002, out of which 108 remained active in four German artillery battalions as of 2022. In addition to this, 37 ex-Bundeswehr PZHs were sold to Croatia and Lithuania. This accumulated around 40 more inactive PZH-2000s remaining in Germany's reserve inventory. Germany will hand over seven PZH-2000 self-propelled howitzers to Ukraine, a corresponding agreement has been reached on this, German Defense Minister Christina Lambrecht said. Germany will also offer training on how to use heavy artillery. During a trip to Slovakia, Lambrecht claimed to meet with German soldiers who had been deployed in the Eastern European country that shares a small border with Ukraine. The German Defense Ministry did not provide a specific time frame for the delivery of the howitzers, but the training of Ukrainian soldiers will begin soon. The seven howitzers will not be taken out of those that have been made available for the German Bundeswehr, but rather from a separate pool that includes pieces that have been set aside for repairs. The German and Dutch militaries are set to train around 20 Ukrainian soldiers having prior artillery experience in the western German state of Rhineland-Palatinate. Do you guys think that the PZH-2000 will help Ukraine against the Russian invasion? Do watch our other video on a similar topic. USAF has finally revealed its sixth-generation fighter.